Have you ever wondered how the label of a cryptocurrency can change so drastically? Well, let me tell you a tale about Ethereum, once known as ultrasound money. But what happened when the EIP-1559 upgrade shifted its character? And once upon a time, Ethereum boasted a decreasing total supply due to its deflationary nature. However, after the EIP-1559 upgrade, its title changed. Why, you ask? Because the burn rate slowed down. Let us journey back to late last year when Ethereum's total supply dropped significantly. From November 2023 to early April 2024, over 100,000 Ethers vanished, reducing the total supply fees to roughly 120.06 million. What caused such a dramatic decrease? A decline in fees burnt, uh, but then something peculiar occurred. In mid-April, Ethereum's total supply began to climb again. It now hovers around 120.1 million. So where did all those burned ethers go? Uh, they didn't vanish. Instead, they became part of their circulating supply once more. Now, let's examine the fees burnt data. Fees burnt plunged dramatically since March, falling from approximately 6,000 ether to just around 890 ether currently. This sharp reduction in fees burnt contributed to the surge in Ethereum's total supply. And moreover, transaction fees have taken a nosedive too. Both on the main network and layer two solutions, fees are lower than ever before, averaging only 0.00017 ether, or about 0.5 per transaction. These fee reductions account for the decrease in fees burnt and subsequent increase in Ethereum's total supply. Um, and so why should we care about this shift in Ethereum's deflationary dynamics? While the exchange supply keeps growing, um, while the total supply increases, Ethereum may face the risk of oversupply. Um, currently, however, uh, the exchange supply remains relatively low compared to the total supply, suggesting that Ethereum isn't immediately threatened by inflationary pressures. Um, last but not least, Ethereum's price hasn't fared well lately either. Trading below $3,000, it's struggling to recover. Despite the bearish signals from technical indicators, there might still be hope for a price reversal in the near future. And, you know, here's a little joke for you. Why don't Ethereans play hide-and-seek? Because good luck hiding when everyone knows your total supply. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you next time.